I saw a woolly necked stork the other day at Cheetah Plains, but unfortunately it flew away before we could get it on camera. And here we go, this is a much larger saddle billed stork. And we used to have a pair of them that lived here, and then obviously with the drought, when it dried out, they moved off. But you can see clearly, oh, and a three banded plover and a blacksmith lapwing. You can see clearly why it's called a saddle billed stork. It looks like it's got a saddle on its bill. And it looks like, looks like a female to me. It's one of the birds where you can see quite clearly. Have a look underneath its chin and have a look at its eye and then I'll explain to you with the use of a helpful diagram how you can tell the difference between the two of them. Caught something there. Frog perhaps or a small fish. Very striking bird, very striking colours. So, definitely look closely at the eye. That's one of the ways that you can tell. See the yellow? And that tells us that it's a female and then the absence of wattles under its chin. Males have wattles under their chins. And I'm looking in my book, I was going to show you a picture but it's not a very clear one. That doesn't help. <laughs> Are Lara Moore? Absolutely. They do look as though they're dressed for work, don't they? And are very smartly dressed then they're Sunday best, except today's Monday. So they're Monday best. Oh wow, well spotted Craig. There's a monitor lizard. And water, big water monitor lizard. Oh, that's very large. Now whilst a saddle-billed stork might catch and eat a baby water monitor, that one is definitely far too large for it. And look, it's got an audience of terrapins. They all seem to be transfixed by the beauty of the stork. I wonder what's going through their minds. Are they wishing, perhaps, that they could be as colorful and beautiful as the stork? Here goes the monitor. Ah, oh, look at those claws unwrapping. I wonder if this is the one that walks every day from Twin Dams to this waterhole. We followed its tracks yesterday and they were coming in this direction. An interesting combination of species. I love the terrapins. I find them innately entertaining. Come in all shapes and sizes. Look at them. These big ones and little ones and really little ones. All sunbathing. Now going back to our saddle build stalk, I just want to make sure that I heard this correctly. Riti, I think you were asking if all birds eat termites because grains are rare on Juma. Did I hear that correctly, Chantal? Okay, so it is grains. Am I, I am hearing that correctly, grains. Thank you very much. Okay, cool. Riti, uh, no, not all birds will eat termites, uh, especially the smaller seed eaters. They might pick at the odd termite if they happen to see it around. Termites are such a useful source of protein, and they're so common that they are pretty much fed on by everything. But the smaller seed eaters, no, they'll spend most of their time feeding off the grass seeds, and it's, they're not that rare. There's so much in the way of starch, at least at this time of year and earlier towards the rainy season, the grasses produce huge amounts of seeds, <coughs> as we know, after every bushwalk when we clear out our socks and our shoes. So grains are not that rare. I, th I assume that is what you're referring to. And the seed eaters and the doves will feed mainly on that. I've never seen a stalk 
feeding off termites, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do, especially when we have the explosion of allates, the reproductive member members of the termite mounds. They come out in huge numbers. Oh look, it's doing yoga. They come out in enormous numbers and almost everything out here will capitalize on that. Frogs, leopards, hyenas, birds.